Good day. I'm Letitia van Skalkwijk. And I'm Stefanus. <laughs> I don't know about you, but 2022 was most definitely not an easy year for me. And for you, Stefanus. <laughs> not easy. Not easy, Letitia. Not easy. At all. <laughs> I think we all experienced some kind of trauma in 2022. And the trauma we experience mm, yeah. probably differs to what you experience, but trauma is still trauma. See, the important thing to understand about trauma is trauma is an emotion. It's linked to an emotion. It's linked to a feeling. It's, it's about how you felt when something happened. But as you said, it takes different, different forms. Yes, so um, there are different forms of trauma. For instance, I think change is also mm. a kind of trauma. Yes, it is. Um, but the thing about change is we all want change. God created us to desire change. And if we mm. don't change, yeah. we stagnate and then mm. we die. Mm. But with change comes challenges. Of course. But in change, you see, if there's no change, there's no life. Mm -hmm. There's no growth. Growth brings change. Something's got to die for something to grow. Nature is a perfect example of that. You've got to let something go in order to gain something. In that letting go, in that dying off, there is trauma. There is emotion. There are feelings. There's a, sometimes a wound that happens in your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've gone through many of those. Sure, you have. Yeah, what I've experienced is you want change, you desire change, but then when you change, in the change, there are some things that you almost mourn about. Mm. But we have to go through that yes, as well. you do. Because think of a friendship that changed. Sometimes relation, not sometimes, relationships change. You'll see that throughout your life you've maintained and retained some relationships and you've lost some relationships not always of your choice yeah. sometimes it's choices others make sometimes it's just life sometimes it's a matter of you have to leave them behind in every time every time that happened there was a loss there was a feeling of regret many times sometimes we try to to resurrect to get back mm -hmm. What we've lost while we are meant to let it die, to leave it behind. And the wisdom is to discern the difference. Yeah. But now, moving from 22 into 23, we, there are some mm. things that we have, to, we have to leave behind. For yes. instance, trauma. Yeah. We can't take the trauma we have experienced or the emotions we have experienced, like Stefan has mentioned, into 23. So how do I leave it behind and move forward? The important thing is, first of all, I, I want to say again, you must recognize what trauma is. Trauma is a feeling. It's an emotion. Mm. The first thing you've got to do is don't deny the emotion. Don't deny the feeling. Don't, you know, many times as believers, and I know in times past, and, many, and in some instances still so, but we are taught to almost deny things by confession. Confession is not about denying what is. It is about, about calling those things that be not as though they are. It is speaking that which is not, which you see, which you know into be. So don't deny the emotion. Don't just, don't put the trauma away. You know, we bury that. We say, ah, oh, no, it's okay. It's fine. I've moved on. Mm. But you've not moved on when you're still thinking and dwelling on it. You've not moved on when any time there is an association, that emotion comes up. Mm. So the important first thing is to recognize that trauma, recognize that emotion. You are not to deny your emotions. You are not to not have emotions. You are called to, equipped, empowered in Christ to rule your emotions. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. You have to master your emotions. You have to master that and remain in peace in spite of because of who you are. And there are some keys that will help you do that. So acknowledge the emotion. <laughs> acknowledge the trauma. 
That's important, is yeah. it not? Yes, it is important because many things that happened mm. happened to you or with you in the past, it is that that formed you. But now, how do you take the lesson into the future, but you leave behind the, the painful memory? Here's the thing. I can choose. It's by an act of will. See, I think it's one of the things we miss as believers. That God, you know what a powerful, powerful weapon free will is. Mm. What a powerful force it is. Free will means that you can choose by an act of your will to say, I can choose to take the experience, but leave the trauma behind. Yeah. I can choose. You see, victory is not to never refer to it. Not to, to as if it never happened. And I'm not talking about sins. I'm, not to, I'm talking about trauma. I'm talking about something that happened to you. It is about being able to refer to it, even teach from it, Take the value and the lesson you've learned from it to help others, to share with others without experiencing that traumatic feeling, that mm. emotion, without that trauma coming back. Mm. That is victory. Yeah. And that is possible. First and foremost, because mm. are you not born again? Mm. It's the first thing you've got, to, you've got to understand the power of being a new creation person and the power of that when you can choose to say, Lord, I choose this. That's why you have to choose Christ. Mm -hmm. You have to choose it. Mm -hmm. You don't automatically get saved. You choose it. Mm -hmm. So by the same act of will, I say, I choose to leave this trauma behind. I choose not to allow this to rule over me and to reign in me. I will not be ruled by my emotions. I will rule my emotions because I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Has he not given us all authority? Yeah. Do you not have the Holy Spirit? True. That's the first thing you do. Mm. It's an act of your will. It's the choice mm. you make. So you, you, you still agree with that even if things, for instance, if things wasn't resolved in 2023. 2022, some relationships haven't been restored because you have only power of what, how you think about things and what, what your actions are. You don't have power over another person's actions. Or, no, I don't. But this, it's still the same. But the I the have, principle is still the same. The principle is the same because remember, I have the power to choose how I will react. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, what I still have the power to choose mm. what I will do and not do, how I will speak, mm. what I will say. Yeah. Yes. So the important thing is that that's where the first key comes in. That's why in any one of these things, I want to say to you, guard your heart. Mm. Remember Proverbs, Proverbs 4, verse 23 says, keep your heart with all diligence. Diligence means with you, you work at it. It's a choice you make. How do you guard your heart? How do you, how do you keep your heart? You choose not to let these things fester. Yeah. Not to dwell on them. Mm. Not to rehash them. Mm. When that feeling comes, because it comes, it comes. Mm. You see a photo of the person. You're reminded of the person and back is the feeling. Yeah. Or somebody says something and you're like, oh, I don't have that. Mm. But I should have. But I was denied. I was deprived. Other people make choices and you're not always able to fix them. Mm -hmm. The important thing is at that moment, guard your heart. Mm -hmm. Don't take that hurt into your heart. Mm -hmm. Deal with it. Deal with it and stop it there. Mm -hmm. And make a choice right there to say, I'm a new creation mm -hmm. in Christ. I'm born again. Mm. I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places. Mm. I have Christ in me. Mm. I can rule over this. Yeah. I will not be mastered by this. I will not speak. I will not think out of emotion. Mm. Yeah. And that's how you keep your heart. 
And you do that constantly. Now you guard your heart. Because out of it flows the issues of life. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you've experienced that guarding of the heart. Yes. So this is how I do it. <laughs> by the renewing of your mind. Yes. So by the renewing of my mind. That's it. So sometimes it's, it's so easy saying, um, you know, just renew your mind. But that is a constant decision. For instance, if it's early in the morning, it's still a little bit dark, and I sit in my chair and I start meditating on things. And now my, my mind goes all over, <laughs> all over the place. Then sometimes something that bothers me or something that someone else did to me will come to mind. Now I have, mm. A, mm. I have a choice. Yes, you do. Am I going to sit and meditate and revisit the yes. past constantly? Mm. Or am I rather going to take, mm. take that, renew my mind and try to... Not try by renewing of my mind. I take that negative energy, and I navigate it into something positive. Yes. So, for instance, what I will do early in the morning, whatever it is that I want to take to God, because He said, "Cast it on, mm. cast it on Him." So, when the veil in the temple was torn, that causes for us mm. to have free entry into the holies yes. of holies. So we can enter. We are actually already seated in heavenly places, but now we can we can enter any time um, by meditating, by engaging. We enter and we go, for instance, to the throne of grace, and then I cast whatever is in me or what's bothering me or that situation or that person that hurt me. I cast it on him and I leave it there. Yes. I leave it there. Yes. And then when I come back from my from the spiritual realm <laughs> into my natural, then immediately I feel lighter. Yeah, that's just a consciousness. When you it's when you're now disengage. Yes. Well, engaging means I put myself at the right hand of Christ. I see myself there, seated with Christ. Meditation. Am I right in saying meditation is when I think on the word? I think on, so I can replace that neg like rejection. Yes. I'm dealing with rejection. We deal with rejection on a daily basis. If you live and you're alive and you breathe, you have experienced rejection. Some shape, form or fashion. Doesn't matter how or what. We deal with it daily. Mm. Thing is about rejection is, is I can replace the negative feeling of rejection by immediately saying, hold on a moment. I'm accepted in Christ. Yeah. Yes. I'm okay. In, I'm okay because yeah. I am in Christ. I am a son of God. I have been washed in the blood. I am I'm a new creation. I will not be the product of rejection. No. I will not move out of rejection. Yes. I will move out of the fact I'm accepted, I'm beloved, I'm loved. I will take the, the scriptures. I will meditate on Romans 8. What then can separate me from the love of God? Mm. Who then shall lay a charge against me, the elect of mm. God? Yeah. I'll meditate on 1 John, I think it's 3 or 4, that says, In this the love of God was manifested. Yeah. That he died for us. I think, yes. wow, I'm worth so much he died for me. So what if somebody else thinks I'm not worthy? Yeah. God, the Father, God Almighty, my Creator, not only says I'm worthy, He qualified me to be like Him. Mm. He if, considers me worthy. And even if um, in a certain situation mm. the, the right or, or correct scripture doesn't quickly come to mind, I pray in tongues. Mm. I take that situation, or again, I cast it on Him, and I start praying in tongues. Yes. Or I meditate on the name of God. Um, yes. Yod, hey, Vav, hey. I meditate on the name of God. Mm. And even then, by applying these tools, I renew my mind. My, or my mind is renewed. <laughs> Absolutely. See, because that's the second key. The second key is to renew your mind. Because Proverbs 4 says, all in Proverbs 4, because it says, keep your heart with all diligence. We've dealt with that. And then it, say, it says, for out of it spring the issues of life. How does it spring out of it? In your thinking, in your speaking. You see these three things. Your heart, your mind and your mouth. 
See, if you keep something, if you do not guard your heart, your thought life will follow what's in your heart. Mm. Because you'll be thinking. As a man thinketh in his heart, so easy. Yeah. And then you'll speak it. It'll pop up in conversation. And the moment you speak it, you're sending that energy, that creative power of your speech into this cosmos, this creation, to produce for you mm. the very thing yeah. that you have experienced again. Mm. So you do not change the past by dwelling on the past, by studying the past, by rehashing the past. Mm. You drive like that, looking in your rear view mirror. Looking at your <laughs> mirrors all the time. You're bound to make an accident. Yeah. Yes. You will meet with an accident. Mm. Or an accident will meet with you. Mm. How do you drive? You look straight ahead. Yeah. Yes, you do from time to time glance just to see what's behind, see what's coming. But I mean, that's a quick glance. You don't take your eyes off the road. Yes. You don't drive yeah. looking. You'll go where you look. Yes. That's why the Bible yeah. says, looking away from all that will distract unto yeah. Christ Jesus. Yes. And this is how you do it. Guarding yeah. your heart. Yeah. Meditation. Yes. Renewing your mind. And I think another tool is to um, to stay in the present tense, in the yes. I am, to see yourself. Now, I see in pictures or in a movie, to, to see yourself seated in heavenly mm. places, seated in Christ. Because when you meditate on the past, that is what, what causes um, depression. Yes. And when you are living too much in the future, mm. where you are not yet, and um, that causes fear. And that's hope deferred that makes the heart sick. Yes, and that is why God said, I am. It's present, present tense. It's not past tense. It's also not future tense because he is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. Mm. So if he is, says, I am today, he, is, he will be, I am tomorrow as well. And therefore, we don't have to fear. You know, another thing that causes trauma is mistakes you've made. Yeah. Especially when you repeat those mistakes. That's a trauma. Every time there's the feeling of failure. I want to say to you, you are not the sum total of your mistakes. Because you are in Christ. Don't allow mistakes, past mistakes, to form who you are. To shape your identity. To decide who you are. Don't move out of mistakes. Don't try to not repeat mistakes. Just do the word. Get into the word. Get into Christ. Get into a Christ consciousness of who you are in him. Constantly. And these three things. Renewing God in your heart. Renewing your mind. And speaking. Speech. Hmm. Happens interchangeably all at the same time. It's not a one, two, three. First I fix my heart. Then I fix my... No, no, no. no yeah. As you're guarding your heart. Yes. You're renewing your mind. You're watching your speech. Yeah. Guard your speech until you've learned. I love what Jerry Savelle once shared when he said the Lord taught, told him. He said, Jerry, until you've learned the vocabulary of silence, best you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> the way I experienced it was I was in a hole that I dug. And I had this vision of God saying, I'm the only one who wants to help you. But you're fighting with me. Stop fighting with me. I will help you. And, he's, and, he's, and, he, and I got this understanding of, of a man who's in a pit. And he said to me, stop digging. Mm. Because I was in this pit. I'm like a man who was in a pit. Can't get out. I have a spade and I keep digging. <laughs> the pit is getting deeper. Stop digging. Stop digging. Look to the Lord. Look to Christ in you. When I say look to him, he's not up there. He's right inside. Look yeah. inside. Yes. Engage with Christ in you. Connect with the Holy Spirit. And let Him help you. Even renewing the mind is not your work. It's not your work. It's a choice you make and you have to position for it. You have to arrive. You have to report for duty. Mm -hmm. But the Spirit renews your mind. The Word of God all works together. The Word and the Spirit renews your mind. God Himself does the work in you. All you have to do is to work out what has been worked in. That is to allow it to become visible. Mm. To choose for that which he has worked in to be worked out. Mm. And that's how you deal with trauma. So it's not on top 
Beating soft. I still want to, I, I've still got, I, I know I've said it many times, but I think it's time <laughs> I put action to that. I want to do the Cremora ad in reverse. <laughs> you know, you, many of you will not remember, but those of you are, who are our age group yes, will remember the Cremora ad. <laughs> it's naughty. Honey, there's no Cremora in the fridge. <laughs> and she'll say, it's not inside. It's not inside, it's on top. And then he goes, it's not inside, it's on top. There it is. Well, I want to go, it's not on top, it's inside. <laughs> because we, we've always looking, don't look there. Yeah. Don't look there, it's not on top. It's right inside you. Mm. Right in, remember, you are more than a conqueror through Christ, which strengthens you. Mm. Guard your heart, near your mind, watch what you speak. Speak life, speak life, speak life. Especially about the person who hurt you. Especially about that situation that you cannot change. We're not talking about things you can change. That's a different matter. We're talking about many times trauma that was caused. Things you cannot change. It's done. Mm. There's loss. There are some relationships, even in my life, I knew when they broke. It broke. I had a friend like that. That relationship broke. We were like Afrikaans, Hele Funkel and Kool Yander. You know what they would say in English. We were like... Mm. Inse David and Jonathan. That's it. David and Jonathan. We were inseparable. <laughs> and then there was a day when I made a mistake. And I, in, I went where I was not supposed to end, And I said what I was not supposed to say. And I spoke what I thought. And I was wrong. And, the, and I felt it break. I felt the relationship break. It was never restored. I saw him once. I saw him sometimes after that. But it was, it was an instant separation. And years after that, I went to visit him and his wife, thinking maybe, but the relationship was dead. There's no restoring it. Mm. It broke. It's gone. The important thing is, I, did, I took the lesson from it, not the trauma. I mourned that. But by the grace of God, I overcame. I could leave that behind and move on. Sometimes there are relationships you can't leave behind, but you can't fix them. But they're mm. part of your circle. Mm. Don't. I just want to encourage you one thing. And I want, I want to end with this. Do not let the current situation form your expectation for the future. I want to challenge you in that. No matter what's wrong now, always, always position for change. Always look for restoration. Always expect change. Engage change. Keep speaking change. When you think about that relationship, don't speak of it in the past tense. Mm. Don't speak of that situation, whatever it may be, that loss, whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. Don't speak of it as a fact, as a given, as a historic thing. But keep speaking life. Keep speaking your expectation. Keep looking and positioning for it, for is God not the God of the impossible? Mm -hmm. Is Christ not able? Yeah. Has he not already done all necessary? Don't accept, don't Ever think nothing can change. Anything can change. You just have to be ready to desire that change. Mm. To speak that change. To look for that change. To be ready for that change. Even that helps to guard your heart. It helps tremendously to guard your heart when you constantly remind yourself, no, 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 no. This is how it is now. This is not my future. Don't take that situation and think, yeah, 10 years from now, what will it be like then? Yo, wonder what. Imagine if this happens, imagine, no, no, stop. Say, hey, I'm not expecting that. I'm not, ex just in that not expecting it, you're putting a positive demand, a faith demand on for change. If you have enjoyed this video, <laughs> please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to discuss many more interesting topics on various topics. If you want to make contact with us or engage with us, mm. ask any questions or um, want us to um, discuss certain topics, you're welcome to contact us on Letitia at ltfm.co.za. The reason why you sent my wife the email is because you're going to get a response. <laughs> With me, you know, I get a lot of stuff. And I'm busy with a lot of stuff. I might not. He's just too she's busy. She's very good at that. So she handles the communication in that respect. The communication and the admin. That's it. Then things happen and they're orderly. <laughs> and
and if you've and if you've enjoyed this and you want to maybe partner or trade with us the banking details are on the screen you're most welcome to do that we are going to really you know keep this youtube channel alive and um, post like weekly videos on here man it is going to be exciting we will still do an intro for this because it's brand new we just we decided into 2023 we're starting a youtube <laughs> channel so we started a youtube channel so it's still in his baby shoes it'll grow as we grow <laughs> so have a blessed christ-filled awesome 2023 yes. that's just that'll bring change to your life yes. that'll just man, that'll just excite you be excited about 2023 yeah. Don't let what you see and what you hear influence how you look at this year. Look at this year expecting it to be good, expecting it to be great. Is your God not the God of life? Yeah. Is your Father not <laughs> able? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so until we meet again, Shalom. That's it from me, Stephanus. And Letitia. Shalom. <laughs>